Brander Vineyard specializes in Sauvignon Blanc. We're actually the first to plant the Sauvignon Blanc varietal within the San Ynez Valley, being one of the original six vineyards here. So we have a variety of Sauvignon Blancs. We actually make seven different kinds, but this particular one is our, what I would consider our flagship Sauvignon Blanc. This first 2010 is a blend of about six different vineyards within the San Ynez Valley. It's very consistent year after year. It's really low retail price. It can be your everyday drinking Sauvignon Blanc. It pairs really well with a variety of foods, including your salads, fish dishes, chicken, roasted chicken, really good. Uh, got a really crisp, bright flavor to it. This would be considered our reserve Sauvignon Blanc, I would say. It's 100% estate fruit, which means it's all coming from the Brander Vineyard property. Uh, we actually hand wax every label because we take really good care of this wine. And this one we pick our best grapes for. I love this wine just because it's clean, elegant. It's a really refined Sauvignon Blanc. I have to think about it a little bit harder than I do some of our other ones just because it actually can age, change a little bit in the bottle. This is a 2010 vintage, but we've even been tasted back to the year 2000 of this wine and it's still fresh, acidic, pretty, bright. I don't meet a lot of white wines that can age that way and that's what makes Brander famous for this wine. This is our one Sauvignon Blanc that we do in a little bit of French oak barrel. And what French oak does, uh, especially if it's a brand new barrel, is give kind of a toasty, almost a creamy finish to the wine. It's really, really pretty. Again, kind of stands up to a little bit more um, heavier sauces, cream sauces. I always say this is the best wine to pair with butter. Our 2009 Merlot um, is one of our top red wines. Uh, in addition to Sauvignon Blanc here at Brander, we make really, really great red Bordeaux style wine. And when I say Bordeaux style wine, it means that we're using grapes that are traditionally used in Bordeaux region of France. Your Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cab Franc. Um, so we actually do a great Merlot. Not a lot of people doing that around the valley. Uh, this particular one has a really nice earthy nose, earthy flavors, light uh, texture, really, really nice, light, pretty body. And then we have our Cabernet Sauvignon. Again, one of my favorites. Brander is also one of the first to plant Cabernet Sauvignon in the valley. It needs a little bit hotter climate, and Brander is a little bit inland of the coast. Um, and this one gives a really, really nice, pretty uh, cherry flavor. If you love cherry in wine, you want to go with this Cabernet Sauvignon. This, our 2008 Boucher, is one of our signature wines. It's a wine club member favorite. They're always asking about Boucher. Uh, Boucher was actually a concept uh, created by Fred. Uh, it carries a large amount of Cabernet Franc. And actually, all the fruit in this is a state fruit. So all our Cabernet Franc and most of our estate Syrah goes into this particular blend. This particular blend is primarily Cabernet Sauvignon, um, a lot of Cabernet Franc, and a little bit of Syrah. Syrah grows really well in the San Ynez Valley as well. Our Cuvée Natalie is actually one of our really, really special blends. We do a lot of different 100% Sauvignon Blancs but this one in particular is blended with about 53% Sauvignon Blanc, about 25% dry Riesling, and about 22% Pinot Gris, otherwise known as Pinot Grigio. Uh, this particular wine, named after Fred Brander, our owner and winemaker's daughter. Uh, again, really feminine, pretty label. And it's actually a pretty feminine wine. It's light, dry, a little bit floral. Uh, some people detect sweetness on it, but I actually think it's uh, really crisp, nice, clean. Our Colson Canyon Vineyard uh, Syrah is actually a specialty bottling that we take from the Colson Canyon Vineyard just outside of the Santa Maria Appalachian. It's a darker style Syrah, comes from a vineyard that's only about 15 acres large. 
And that's great for us because that means we almost exclusively get their uh, fruit. Just a few other wineries buying from them and that makes for a really good dark concentrated Syrahs. Uh, this is the 2006 uh, Estate Reserve Cabernet Sauvignon. This particular Cabernet Sauvignon is a little bit darker in style, uh, very, very food friendly, uh, pairs really nicely with a coarse peppered steak, ribs, barbecue. The age on this wine gives a really, really soft tannin. That's why someone would like an aged wine, especially Cabernet Sauvignon. Usually starts with a higher tannin level or that kind of gritty feeling you would get in the finish of a wine. Uh, but this particular one, a little bit of age, really, really soft, velvety tannin. And I love that. I think wine is not only taste, smell, but also a textural thing. And that's why I love aged reserve cap.